Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray, brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray, and welcome you folks out in Brownsville, Tennessee, and Jackson, Tennessee, uh, along with our flagship station here in Memphis, ESPN 790. We're also uh, in Brownsville Radio and uh, looking forward to a lot of time spent with them at uh, WSAM and WTBG PM in Brownsville and in Jackson, Tennessee, uh, News Talk 101.5 and WNWS FM. That's in Jackson. So appreciate you guys uh, joining the Outdoors of Larry Ray team where now we can be heard uh, throughout the Mid-South. And we've got, hey, worldwide now. Yeah, 24-7, uh, streaming 24-7 now. And, of course, here in Memphis, uh, we're always streaming and we're always uh, live most of the time. So uh, <laughs> Saturday mornings, uh, hey, we're going to switch from kayaks to backpacks to one of my favorite companies that, uh, boy, i tell you what, in the last, uh, I don't even know, maybe, maybe the, the gentleman can tell us a little bit about this company because they have made inroads you thought about them as backpacks and things along that line. They still make the best backpack I think there is. I've got at least two of them. They make chairs. They make everything along that line. And now they've gone into making blinds. And, of course, uh, I don't mean Venetian either. You know, so <laughs> somebody thought that. Uh, now somebody's probably scratching their head going down the interstate. Venetian blinds? Are they still around? So, turkey season. Turkey season, yes. And they got one called the Deception. Ooh, I love that. So I hope to have one of those things. Uh, but before I start turkey hunting this year. We got Colby Smith on us. He is uh, part of the product uh, product development team and our good friend at Alps Outdoors. And how do you spell that, Ron Wong? O- Outdoors U- or T- Alps? Wait, no, no, Ron Wong. D-O-O-R-Z. There you go. We got the Z in there, Colby. How you there doing, you buddy? Go. Good morning doing to good. you. Doing good. How about yourself? How's everything at Alps? Oh, everything's great. We'll talk a little bit about it because you guys have really made uh, some remarkable, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it's been about 10 years, 11 years, 2007, I think, when I first talked on this radio with with Alps and and some of the folks. uh, You guys have, uh, you've been living a good life. Yeah, yeah, we've been, uh, we've definitely been busy, that's for sure. So, yeah, like you said, uh, 2007 is when, um, Alps Mountaineering actually started a, another brand of Alps Outdoors, and it has gone nowhere but up since then. And you're still in Missouri, aren't you, guys? In still, Missouri, still in Missouri. And in total number of employees, uh, it's right around forty. There you go. I can remember it wasn't forty when you started. Oh. No, no, it sure wasn't. Uh, were you there when it started? No, I was not. Well, I can remember. I think uh, Sarah or some of those uh, Brune. Y- yeah, yeah Brunies were there. Yeah, they were there when it all got started. What city in Missouri it's located? It's in New Haven, Missouri, Little River Town. Little River Town. I love those little river towns. But uh, you've branched out. I know at the SHOT Show you had some new things. Tell our listeners what's what's uh, going on for 2018 from you guys. Yeah, so one of the new, uh, new products that we're really, <clears throat> really pushing this year is our new Deception Blind. That's it. Uh, yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, it's a low-profile hunting blind. I know a lot of blind companies out there are trying to get go bigger, but not us. We're 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 going to be the di- difficult ones, and we're going smaller. So this blind is it's uh, three foot ten inches to the center hub. I love um, it, and it only weighs eight pounds. So if you're gonna <laughs> if you're gonna be packing up a hill or something, it's definitely going to be easier than lugging. 18, 20 pounds on your back. Okay, I'm, I'm right now. My plans are to be in the Texas Panhandle, uh, first weekend in April. I'm, I'm, I'm supposedly going with Ray Glass, and Charles Petrie. Okay, and they're going to leave me there with a ground blind. Now I hope by then uh, I get this deception to prove that it is fit for an old man to sit inside of and kill a turkey. Uh, uh, it'll well, work perfectly. It well, looks pretty big. Uh, 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 there it is. That's the one. That's the one I want in right yeah. there. So yeah. uh, that's yeah. It. Now, now I'm gonna have to stake that baby down because uh, that eight pounds in the Texas Panhandle. You know, I might end up in Nebraska. You know, <laughs> well, if well, I, I, you'll be okay. You you'll be I'm, all right. Just 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 and tie a rope to your belt loop. And this is a fisherman telling me how to do a turkey look, blind it, over as there. As a turkey hunter, I have avoided turkey blinds because of size and weight. 
Mm-hmm. Here, you know, I and I don't generally sit for a long time, but there are times I wish I had one. Well, that's what they and told me. At eight pounds, now that's something you could carry and not worry about. And it's a good price point too. Yeah, well, what is, that what, is a great pr- price. What, what point. What is that price point you're looking at? How over about a hundred and thirty nine ninety nine? That's it. At eight pounds. At eight <laughs> pounds, and golly, I mean, it's forty eight by forty four. Yeah. Inches and uh, the center height on is three foot ten inches. Holy cow! We don't even need you, Colby. You just sit I, back I, and listen. You guys got to figure it out. I tell you. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> we, we've got it. But again, we're talking to Colby Smith, from our, uh, product development team at their good folks at Alps Outdoors, and it's called the Deception. Uh, I'm assuming you came up with that name, right? Uh, I'm not the name. I'm not the name giver. <laughs> ah, that's for sure. Oh, I always want the name guy in there. That's what I want to be. If I ever came back in another life, I want to be able to name the fishing lures, the colors, and the names of the of, of turkey blinds and stuff like that. the deception. Does that does that not fit a turkey blind? Absolutely, Colby. Oh, huh? it's perfect. It's perfect though. And it's out now. Can people get it now? Yeah, people can get it. They can order it online. And uh, and so what else? Uh, anything else I need to be worried about from you guys? I don't know how you can improve your backpacks. I mean. Uh, I can almost put my granddaughter in one of those things, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, we came out with uh, another turkey vest uh, this year. Another one. Don't do this to me, Colby. Please, <laughs> yeah. no more turkey vest. Okay, all right. Like, I mean, I got three on top of each other right now. So, uh, but it, what's what's the name of this one? So this is the impact vest that we got uh, new for 2018. Uh, this one's got kind of a stadium seat oh, built into it. Yeah. So it you've Always got always got a tree, or if you don't always have a tree, you've always at least got something to lean back on. Um, one pretty cool feature about this is one whole pocket comes off. So the pocket that holds your box call, your slate calls, and your strikers can be completely removed. So if you want to go as light and as quiet as you want, all you have to do is pop that pocket off, and you're gone. There's a sling that comes out of the back. I like Throw that. it around you. Yeah. Wear it as a fanny pack, throw it over your shoulder, however you want to do it. Wow. Uh, see, I sound like a panhandler coming to the woods sometime, you know, because i got so many little trinkets hanging <laughs> on to me and everything like that. I hear you. And then uh, you guys have come up with this. and uh, uh, So have you looked that up, at Ron? Did you look that one up, or are you still on that? Actually, I was looking at one of their new backpacks called the Voyager. The Voyager. Okay. And, uh, what about you know, because... One of the things that you're I, big on backpacks because you go fishing. Well, you like well, to, not only for fishing, but also to carry all of my camera. You had gear. a camera, but, and uh, yeah. and you know, as you go through shows and as you cover tournaments, yeah, you know, and you have four or five lenses and two or three different cameras, uh, it's you know, backpacks are great, but it really gets heavy. What about so that, Colby? The, you got you this got Voyager here. Yeah. Is on it, rollers and it rollers. has so many different compartments where you can put your stuff and organize it. It's pretty amazing just looking at this particular item here. And you know, a lot of people now that go to these shows, especially journalists, people in the media, yeah, yeah, um, and even as buyers that would go to ICAST or go to shot shows, yeah, you know, how often do you get loaded down with uh brochures and catalogs and mm-hmm. you know even flash drives and everything where do you put it all well you got a backpack and, uh, you need so a good backpack. this this is a backpack on rollers on rollers it's pretty amazing that i'm looking at it's only 33 inches uh high and you can get um, you in there ron Except Nine it. inches thick. No, that lets 13 you. Now, inches now back wide. to turkey vest. Let's wow. go back to that turkey vest, Ryan, because uh, that's what we like to talk about around, down here and everything. How many, how many different turkey vests do y'all have? Uh, we have three vests and one pack. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, you need a lot of, I mean, a, a company should have several turkey vests because we all hunt differently and we carry different things. And uh, Camo patterns, what do y'all use? What, what, what's your camo pattern? So we're tied in with the NWTF, so we use Mossy Oak on all of our uh, NWTF thought, yeah. licensed on, on, uh, gear. All of it. I know when you came out the first backpack, you were a backpacking. This was a, would I be safe to say that you guys were after the tricky kind people, that uh, the backpackers and the hikers and things along that line, and in, in 11 years you've now become 
who'd ever thought you'd be a, uh, with Mossy Oak? Let's just be honest. I mean, back in those days, you hoped for, but uh, you've taken a, a small company in a small town and become big town in a big time business. Yeah, and uh, we we see nothing but growth going on. So we're uh, we're always looking forward to the future. Yeah, you're not going to move from that town, are you? No, no, sir. Our roots run deep here. Yeah, and the population? Uh, I think it's right at 2,000. 2,000? How many red lights in? Red lights? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Kobe. That's, that's good. what I like That's to good. Hear. But, uh, so, you know, I know you is a product, part of the product team. We've got a couple of minutes left. Uh, you guys are not through, are you? I mean, you're probably already looking at next year. And oh, ideas we're, looking and at, we're looking at 19 as we speak, so we're planning on having another big year. What are you, uh, are you going to emphasize anything different? Are you guys going to do anything? Give us a secret here. A little... We'll have, there'll be a few new things coming out. Okay, that's, that's it. That's about as much as I can tell you, but okay. there, there for sure will be some new items come out for the Alps Outdoors line. Okay, well, I just want to see that deception when I head to the Texas Panhandle and uh and end up in nebraska i'll still be inside that uh, deception <laughs> you'll be like dorothy right yeah i'll be like dorothy going through kansas <laughs> yeah, that's right. right hey colby thank you for being with us on outdoors of larry Ray. tell everybody hello and uh, i'll be getting in touch with you guys because i'm i'm a man of deception there's no doubt about that okay sounds good thanks larry thanks colby all right let's take a break we're going to come back and why are we going to talk to one of the world's best shooters and he don't miss too often 